Police have not released a possible description of the vehicle involved. Let's get to our KCRE 3 weather because this is something that's affecting really all of us. An active day across our region. We've had some rain. We've had some snow on the left. That's a live look at Myers on Highway 50 right now. Look at that snow on the ground on your right. And that is the rain falling in Fairfield. That was about 3.30 this afternoon. Pretty good sheets of rain there. Parts of the valley have seen some rain as well. It was coming down in Old Sacramento around 2 o'clock this afternoon. Umbrellas were out as people were walking around and enjoying the holiday decorations. We have team coverage on this system. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandour is near Kingville right now in Live Tracker 3, where there's been on and off again snow today. But first, we start with meteorologist Heather Walden. Heather, what's going on right now in Doppler? Well, the showers were really brief through the valley and even into the foothills. Things are moving a lot faster than what we saw yesterday. We still have a few snow showers hanging on above 4,500 feet in the Sierra, slowing some stuff down through the passes. A couple little sprinkles left over from Escalon to Modesto, Turlock a few light showers left and Tracy a light shower just to the southeast of town. You head up the hill just a little bit east of Ione. A couple little showers here. Once you get up above 4500 feet again, that's where that rain changes over to some very light snow at this point. Here's Highway 50. Pollock Pines has just been plain rain for today and really only a few hundredths of an inch accumulated there at that. Uh, up along Donner Summit, yeah, it's still snowing lightly but relatively steadily. Things looking good headed down into Truckee though. This is a live look at 80 in the Truckee area. You can see the road looks just wet at this point. Trucks moving along just fine, but of course Donner Summit a few hundred feet higher than that, so maybe some different conditions there. So we'll keep an eye on things for you over the next couple of hours, but things should be winding down here pretty soon. Back to you. All right, all right, Heather, thank you. And snow is falling in the Sierra. It's a welcome sight, especially for ski areas. Yes, and for snowboarders. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandour is along I-80 and Live Tracker 3. And Michelle, what's it look like there out there on the roads? Well, you know, we did see some cars pulled over uh, that were stopped at some gas stations that had some snowboards on top. So I know that people are excited about that skiing, Lisa and Ty, and snowboarding. But um, conditions today, well, we have seen some um, snow start falling here. We've been out here for a couple of hours on, uh, we are heading now westbound on I-80 near Cisco. And let's go ahead and take a look at those roads that we see in front of us. Here uh, we have snow falling and um, we have a little bit of snow pack on here. Talked with Caltrans and crews are putting down a salt and sand combination um, to keep the paves, pavement uh, dry, to keep the pavement safe for folks. Uh, Caltrans also says that there are chain restrictions in place eastbound on I-80 from Cisco to Truckee and westbound Truckee to Eagle Lakes. And so, um, you know, we did see, I did see someone over on the shoulder and they were getting those chains out of their trunk. But for us, uh, the driving is not too bad. We're going about 33 miles an hour. Just got a thumbs up from photojournalist John Breedlove, who's been doing all the driving for us here in Live Tracker 3. We uh, drove around for a few hours this afternoon and we were over uh, Donner Pass and on the old Highway 40. And of course, you know, in that area, get some blowing. Uh, but it was actually very beautiful. Um, coming up to Cisco Grove right now, heading westbound down the hill a little bit. And again, just taking it slow. You know, you don't, you might hit one of those icy patches as the temperature is about 29 degrees. So just want to take it slow, have those chain restrictions, and uh, keep things smoothing, uh, driving smoothly here. But uh, that's the conditions that we see so far from Live Tracker 3. And just want everybody to be safe out there. So we're taking it slow. We're going to keep, keep an eye on the roads for you and let you know how things are going. Haven't seen any accidents or any spin outs yet, so that's a good thing. All right. Reporting live from Live Tracker 3, <laughs> Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. Well, I appreciate you being out there for us, Michelle. Thank you. And you can track this system as it moves through your neighborhood. Just download the KCRA.